Welcome to this Houdini notebook tutorial. This video is part of the Side Effects Labs notebook, and the node that we're looking at in this part is the Labs Snow Buildup tool. This tool is a sub level geometry node, so we can go ahead to the geometry level over here. Go ahead and just grab the Snow Buildup node. Now, this is the new version of the node. There was an existing version, I believe that they added some functionality to this. You can check which version you have by right clicking and going type properties. This one is 2.0, you can see over there. If you don't have the most recent one, what you can do is just update your labs. This will open the Houdini launcher. Just go over to the package downloader as seen over here. So labs packages, install package, give that a moment to pop up. You can just choose the daily build for labs for the most recent version of Houdini and it'll have this inside of it. Now all snow does is it takes a geometry and adds snow to it. So if we go ahead and just use a rubber toy, plug this in over here, give it a moment and it just generates that on top. The first thing I'm going to do is just decrease the space height to something like 0.2. That's just going to give me that over there, which makes it a bit more manageable. I'm also going to increase the coverage. So this is just a value for controlling how much snow you have. A high value covers this in more snow. I'm also just going to give this rubber toy a different color so that we can see the snow more clearly. So now we can see what's being generated. However, you will immediately notice that there is no occlusion going on. What I mean by that is that the snow over here is not being occluded by surfaces higher up. That's often something that you want with a sort of accumulation. So we can just say occlude mesh. And you'll see that now his snout is busy blocking the snow from gathering over there. And these little appendages at the back are stopping it as well. We also have the option for snow direction. So this is just the direction on our geometry, which is going to have accumulation. So one just means up. If we were to put this as zero and put one on Z, you'll see that it's now towards the front. And so we can of course play around with those settings. The resolution is controlled by the voxel size. So decreasing this increases the resolution just like that. And then we have all of these settings for the actual snow that is generated, such as the height of the snow and noise height as well, so that it's not so smooth, a frequency for that, the minimum patch area size, which will be more noticeable if you have a lower coverage. For example, we have these small patches, push that up and it removes the smaller patches. We have smoothing iterations that just smooths out our snow. And then we have these new options over here for edge detail. And so this is what's been introduced in this 2.0 version. You'll see that we can melt the borders and this acts a lot like smoothing as well. We also have some options for how this actual border is melted. By default, it's just the simple mode. But if we were to do shoveled, you'll see some interesting detail occurring on the edges over here. We have stratification. That's going to give you this sort of layered look. Then you have stratification with holes and melted with holes. That just puts holes into your snow. And that's the gist of it. And this doesn't just have to be for snow. You could use this for moss, which is something that I would probably use this for. So if we just had to decrease the base height to something like 0.1. So if we were to just take this, not keep the original geometry, we can do our own conversions on this. So if we wanted to do something like a VDB from polygons, a smooth SDF, convert back to geometry, use an attribute noise, use it along the vector, targeting P, make it zero centered, and then just make it a tiny noise over here, something like this. Use a lab's physical occlusion. And this is a node that we might look at in the future, but we're just going to take this, set this to dirt build up, use a color node, and then use the attribute that this ambient occlusion output, which is AO underscore mask, to drive a ramp. And then just give this some green colors. Then we can get this sort of moss type look. And of course you can use things like a hair gen on this over here. And you can generate a couple of curves to act as moss. You can get really creative with this, but really it all just stems from using this snow build up. It's really nice for just finding the direction and calculating the occluded mesh. So, you know, you can just add any sort of geometry over here and the occlusion just works, which is really nice. So I hope you found this useful. I'll be back soon with a brand new video. And so I'll be seeing you then.